Hello, my name's Anthony. During this season, we've been going through the Book of Psalms as a church, and we've reached Psalm 85. The opening looks at how God rescued his people in the past, but then it asks God to restore them again and ends with a great sense of confidence that he'll do so. Listen to it as I read. For the director of music of the Sons of Korah, a psalm. You, Lord, showed favour to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Restore us again, God our Saviour, and put away your displeasure towards us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all generations? Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Restore us again, Lord. As you've done in the past, do it again, Lord. That's what's being prayed for here. And we all need that, don't we, at various points in our walk with the Lord, when we sense that something has faded along the way. Restore us, Lord. So where is our confidence that this restoration might be possible? Well, verse 7 tells us, Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. That same word love is used again in that moving verse 10. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Four beautiful qualities that come together in God. As Christians, of course, we look back to the great act of deliverance that God brought about through the cross. That was supremely the place where his love and faithfulness came together, where righteousness and peace kissed each other. And it's because of that that we can turn to him and know that he will indeed give us what is good. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that all those amazing mercies, love, faithfulness, righteousness, peace, are found in Jesus, the one who, as John writes, was full of grace and truth. So, Lord, we pray that you will indeed revive us, restore us to yourself, that we may truly be your people in and for the world. In Jesus' name. Amen.